What is up, my friends? It is Thursday night. It is the late night agenda. And no, I haven't lost my damn mind. I know what you're thinking. You're looking at the title of the video and you're going, he finally lost it. He's absolutely away with the fairies. Well, that's probably true. But it didn't just happen today. But I can't not speak about that massive headline that has been doing the rounds, albeit it seems to be based in just somebody's head. I don't think there's any factuality to it. Is factuality a word? We're going to go with factuality. Somebody can let me know in the comment section if that's a word or not. So look, I'm going to do what I always do. Ask you guys to let me know your thoughts in the comment section. If you haven't joined the other 177,000 people that have hit that subscribe button, please do. And of course, drop a like on the video. So look, let's get into it. Kylian Mbappe. To Liverpool, two hundred million pound. Here we fuck off. Seriously, like, come on, Kylian Mbappe to Liverpool Football Club is not going to happen. But there is an article doing the rounds today that said Liverpool have reportedly made a two hundred million euro bid to sign Kylian Mbappe from Paris Saint Germain. That's according to journalist Edu Aguirre, who says what has occurred in the last few hours in the offices of PSG is that an offer from Liverpool has arrived. Liverpool have entered the scene. Liverpool have made a 200 million euro offer for Kylian Mbappe and the offer for Liverpool has arrived, he said. Um, OK, does anyone think that there's any credibility to that? This is uh, absolute nonsense. Like we know John W. Henry is not going to pony up 200 million. For Kylian Mbappe. Now, look, it's not out of the realms of possibility that Liverpool have flirted with Mbappe because we've done it before. John W. Henry brought Mbappe and his family around the Bay of, I think it was Nice or something like that, for a little flight on his private jet. But that was prior to him joining PSG from Monaco. Since then, the numbers have only gotten more astronomical. And Kylian Mbappe, and this is really important to point out because we have to take a minute to feel sorry for him because he's in a, a golden cage, according to Real Madrid and other people. A golden cage, i.e. the dude's got too much money. And we're supposed to feel sorry for him that he's trapped in this horrible situation in Paris with a truckload of cash coming in all the time, non-stop. And his options will either sign on for another truckload of cash or go somewhere else for, you've guessed it, another truckload of cash. Look, would we have Kylian Mbappe at Liverpool? Well, no, we have a number seven. His name's Lucho Diaz. Of course, we'd have Mbappe, but he'd have to take the 23 or the nine. Um... But look, we can dream, and maybe there are some people out there who think there could be some credibility to this, but nothing about John W. Henry or FSC's ownership makes me think a 200 million offer arrived in PSG's offices. And you would imagine that PSG would have let the world know that if a 200 million euro offer had gone into their offices. This is all just laying the groundwork for Kylian Mbappe's potential move to Real Madrid, which will happen sooner or later. So let's get back to factuality. Let's get back to speaking about things that actually have some realm in this world. Levi Colwell, Liverpool are very, very interested. But as I said yesterday, the ball is very much in Chelsea's court. He is a Chelsea player. He's got two years to go in his contract. And Liverpool are sitting back and looking at the situation. If they get any indication from Chelsea that they'd be willing sellers, I honestly feel we'll be right in there. We do need somebody to come in and provide cover and a challenge to Verge on the left side of uh, our centre-back situation. Now, will we need to bring in somebody to push Robbo as well? Because it looks like we're going to start the season with this 3 2 Two, three formation, meaning Andy Robertson will be the left side of centre back when Trent moves into midfield, Canade across to the right and Verge for the centre. So I do think we will bring in a centre back. All accounts that I've read seem to suggest it will be a young centre back. We've seen Perishers, Gonzalo Inacio, um, Braithwaite was another one mentioned, Levi Colwell. Truth is, I have no idea which one is going to be, but I can say with certainty if Colwell is available, Liverpool will be there trying to get a deal done. Now, something came out of Italy today that made me kind of sit up and take notice. They're saying still that Liverpool are eyeing a move for Federico Chiesa. The agents of Chiesa have reportedly travelled to England for talks with Liverpool, and that's what uh, is coming out of, I think it's Corriere della Sport. And they're also saying that we're very much interested, but I can't see how or why. Like, we've brought in Dominic Sobotsly, so when Mo Salah goes away for the AFCON, you'd imagine that's that right-hand side covered, or, of course, there's Ben Doe, Carby Elliott, Lucho could move across to the right. So I can only assume that Liverpool are maybe covering their bases if somebody moves on. So we don't know what to expect from Saudi at the minute. We've seen links to Mohamed Salah, to Jordan Henderson, to Thiago Alcantara. And I think the most likely one of them is probably Thiago. If Liverpool could move him on and get 200 grand a week off the books, I think it would be worth pursuing. 
But then again, I'm also absolutely fine with keeping the maestro at the club to let him see out his contract. But I just don't see where he fits in. Naturally, you think left side of that midfield, but that's where Alexis McAllister is most likely going to line up. Or that's where Curtis Jones' future lies if he continues the great development that he's had. So really don't know, but I'm feeling quite relaxed about it. Now, what I don't want to happen and what I hope doesn't happen is that Liverpool just let this window peter out now, that we don't do much more business. We've got off to a great start, but we've got to capitalise on that. We've added in Alexis, we've added in Dom. Now we need to go out there, bring in another midfielder, in my opinion, and a left-sided centre-back. If you're asking me to gauge which one I think is more likely to happen first, it's tough because if the Colwell situation drags on, Liverpool might still hold off. But if Chelsea show any indication that they're willing to sell, you could expect an offer to go in there relatively quickly. Now, I don't have anything new on Romeo Lavia from other conversations we've had. I still don't know what the situation is there. Arsenal look like they've tied up Declan Rice. They've obviously brought in Kai Havertz. They've agreed a fee, I think, 38 million or something like that for Timber. So they're spending, what, 205, 207 million and yet they're still going to be in the race for Romeo Lavia. So let's wait and see what happens there. But I get the feeling Liverpool are holding off to see maybe if some of the other midfielders move on or if Jordan Henderson says to Jurgen Klopp, look, there's serious money on offer there in Saudi. I want to take it. I don't know. I wouldn't expect Klopp to allow him to leave. Hendo's our leader and we've already lost James Milner. So for me, Hendo has to stay. Thiago... I think there's a conversation to be had there if it suits both parties. Uh, also, Liverpool have now confirmed their final friendly of the pre-season. Liverpool are going to take on uh, Darmstadt and it's going to be taking place at Deepdale, which is Preston North End's ground. Final game will take place on August the 7th. It's a 7pm kickoff. Obviously, it couldn't be at Anfield because of the Annie Road end being done. So it will be at Deepdale. So maybe that's a neck of the woods that's easier for you. I don't know. Don't know Lancashire that well. But Liverpool have lined up that last friendly before the season kicks off the following weekend. So if you wanted to see the Reds this summer, there's your opportunity. August the 7th, six days before we kick off against Chelsea. So that's pretty much where we're up to at the minute, my friends. Let me know your thoughts on the Killian Mbappe stuff. I mean, there is no world, right? There's no way. Even if Salah left, there's no way, is there? Is there? Because look, I'm trying to find a way. Of course I am. But nah, we can't. He's going to go to Real Madrid. But the Chiesa one, that's an interesting one because that's a long-held interest. So let's wait and see what happens there. I'm not expecting any other major outgoings. Nat Phillips being of interest to Feyenoord. He's also been of interest to Leeds. Um, there was a bit of a thing about the, or about Rio Ferdinand and uh, Jamie Carragher. I'm not sure if you've seen that on social media. I'm going to have my say on that over on tonight's live stream on Twitch if you'd like to join us. It's the last live stream for a week, by the way, because we're going to be taking a week off. Connor has jetted off to Japan for his holidays, so it's just little old me at the minute. So going to try to keep the YouTube videos uploaded over the next week or so, but no more live streams after tonight. So that is it from me, my friends. Looking forward to reading your comments. Thank you, as always, for your support throughout the summer. And we'll catch up with you real soon. Much love. Bye-bye.